Hey guys, welcome back to God of War Ragnarok. The last episode was super cool. We got to fight Garm and then Atreus put Fenrir's soul into Garm. And now we have a super big, super adorable puppy dog that is like five stories tall or something crazy. <laughs> but the thing that I really enjoyed most about our time with Kratos and Atreus in Helheim was you can really feel that their communication with each other is improving. They are being more open with each other in speaking how they feel and also giving each other more leeway to voice their thoughts. I feel like Kratos is treating Atreus more as an equal, less as a child or somebody that he has to constantly coddle and protect and tell what to do and what not to do at every single turn. He's considering Atreus's point of view, he's letting him take the lead sometimes, letting him make decisions, and I feel like their relationship is just really, really improving through all the things that are happening in this game. And it's really, really, really amazing to see. I, I really, really love it. So today we are going to progress through the main story. There is some side content that I decided not to edit into this playthrough. I feel like most people aren't really interested in it, but I did spend a few hours in Svartalfheim just doing everything that I could do in there. If you guys are interested in seeing that, then I would recommend that you go to my VOD channel, Bunny Tales Archives, and check out episode 13, day 13. You'll be able to find it all there. That should be uploaded um, within the next couple days at most. Either way, we're going to get into the episode today, some main stories, so it's going to be very exciting. All right, guys, enjoy. We travel to Vanaheim. Great. You gonna check in on Freya? Yes. Glad I get to come this time. So what happened the last time you were in Vanaheim? I still don't know how you got Freya to stop trying to kill you. We traveled to her village to break Odin's spell. Once freed, she accepted that I was not her enemy. You also missed a highly entertaining moment where Brock was lifted ass over face in Freyr's camp. <laughs> you met Freyr? What's he like? Different from his sister. Lacks her conviction. True. But he's a bit quicker to forgive. And an ineffective leader. But his heart's in the right place. You'll like him, lad. Damn, Kratos. Basically like, yeah, he sucks. <laughs> Beautiful. Mm -hmm. And, uh, what? Also, yes. also dangerous. More dangerous than hell? Hmm. It probably could be. Freya's camp is to the right. No rushes, that. Not every day the lad gets to see a new realm. But I mean, like... We don't really have anything we want to do at the moment, so... I don't see why we don't just go straight to the camp. To Freya's camp, then. Time to see how the Vanir have fared in our absence. I hope Freya's okay. She can care for herself. We're still checking on her, though? Her brother's forces are outnumbered. And there is much I hope. <laughs> well, I don't remember going this way before, huh? Reminds me of a Vanaheim song I heard long ago. Vanaheim lullaby. I bless the rains of Vanaheim. Words from a traditional Vanaheim song. In Greece, the rain served as a reminder to worship the gods. Do the people of these lands worship the rain alongside their gods? <clears throat> Ooh, we can do this now. Up. Hope you guys don't mind if I redecorate a little bit. Look at that guy. 
It's like a leaf lizard. No one here. Where is everyone? Stay alert. I don't like this, brother. E soup? Kratos, Atreus, a welcome reunion. Unexpected, but welcome. Who are you? You know us? Can't be. Is that who I think? Oh, you shifty bastard. It's almost good to see you again. And for once in the shape of a man, or nearly. So that's how they got your head out of your ass. Maybe now you'll stop being such a half-blind, fish-drunk, oversexed liar. He was more of a pig than I ever was. I do not know you. Do you not recognize your handiwork? Hildis Vini! Remember when we first met Frey in the woods? After I... Oh. I am so... He's the pig? Oh, so sorry about that. Freya's poor. Her advisor. And friend. Counselor to the Vanir. And yes, while exiled at Midgard, I was trapped in my boar form. And then you shot me. At my command. No. My arrow, my mistake. Forgotten. Vanaheim needs our help more than ever. Even Mimir's. Come. How unexpected. Just watch where you aim that bow of yours. My hide's not so thick in this form. <laughs> Whoops, that's awkward. We can head out whenever you're ready. Where are we going? I have a favor to ask. I'll explain on the way. Okay, I'm ready. Let's go. Where's Freya? She came here to help her brother. She leads the search party for Freya and Bigvir. They've been captured by the Ainher Yard. Hey, that happened. An ambush. The presence has intensified since your last visit. Of course. To make matters worse, the celestial wolves haven't been seen in days. Or at least I assume. Not easy, tracking time with no moon in the sky. No moon. Just like in their shrine. Their shrine? It's a long story. You want us to check on them? You have my gratitude. We're spread thin. And if anyone can help Skoll and Hati, he'd be a fellow giant. Very well. Freya mentioned you had a way past this. I do. You don't disappoint. Continue down this path and you'll find their den. Good luck. I feel like we have some I tough... Shoot any okay, I won't. You think he's really forgiving me for shooting him? Just me. Oh. The old swine uh, still I don't the miss... You'd know it. That. What happened between you two? The usual. Miscommunication, conflicting loyalties, broken promises. Nothing to concern yourself with. I'm not concerned. Just curious. <laughs> Curiosity's all well and good. But so is privacy, huh? Okay, okay. Point taken. <laughs> so, can we... Break this somehow? I don't know. Maybe... Maybe not. I don't miss all the traps in this in this realm.
Oops. Well, we're starting off with a bang, huh? Get her. I wasn't ready for that. I was looks and not feels so different from the other realms. It's warm, like bottle fun, but there's a kind of thickness in the air. Mm. Egros. Uh, what? Egros. Greek for humid. Egros. I like it. E gross. Fitting. Ah, could use that in the fight. We didn't come all the way over here. The Noken. Behind me. Noke is making these things stronger. Damn, how many of you are there? That wasn't too bad. Hey, there you are. We're here. Stay alert. Wonder where they went. By a Noken, perhaps. Doubtful. The first Noken fight that we fought was so hard, like nearly impossible. But the subsequent ones haven't been too bad. Thank God for that. They're still pretty annoying, though. I think we can get through here. What is the point of being up here? Oh! There it is. There it is! Going for more loot, huh? I saw a forge back at Freyr's camp. Has Brock been helping him out this whole time? Ah, you haven't met Lunda yet. An old contemporary of the Huldra brothers. She serves as Freyr's blacksmith, keeping his team armed and outfitted. Ooh, Leviathan's Roar. Powerful axe though that returns with devastating impact. Kratos is fully protected while shielding.
Did we ever use this one? Whoa, another legendary blacksmith? I bet she has some good stories. Take caution, Atreus. What? Why? She is quite... friendly. <laughs> oh, nonsense. The lad's far too young for her taste. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> it's just like, what? <laughs> Alright, well, we can't screw around too much because Freyr and this other person needs our help. I just want a heavy runic attack for my spear. This excursion into Vanai means you've now visited each of the nine realms. Huh. Ah. Yes, you're right. Not many mortals can claim such a feat. Not many gods either. Even your father has yet to grace the halls of Asgard. I'm in no hurry to do so. <laughs> Hildas Vini said Freyr and Bigvir were captured. Who's Bigvir? He's a light elf, a former scholar exiled from Alfheim with his wife Bela. She may be their best warrior. Why was he exiled? You'll have to ask him for the full tale. But I take it that he and Bela's quest to unite their people was frowned upon. Wait, Bela's a dark elf? Yes. Wow. Well, that raises even more questions. Hope he's okay. Hey, there you are, Aye, not a good sign. They've pushed farther into the jungle since our last visit. That looks like a way back. When we're done, when we're through with this, possibly. Oh no! Don't you dare! I'm not falling for it. Cradle, I mean Atreus, what are you doing? Are you okay over there? Oh my God! What I didn't come at. These guys are like tanky. Oh, that guy was level five. This one's only level four. Find the Noki. It's making these things stronger. Oh, of course. But of course. Yeah, it's yeah, you tell him, Atreus. Okay, oh, well, I guess it's dead. We'll have to test it out later on, our new heavy runic for the axe. Well, I guess I'd rather fight Anokin than those damn dodgy assholes that was that we fought in Spartalfheim. I guess the worst enemy combination would be Anokin and a bunch of those dodgy assholes. I can sense them up there. It's gotta be their den. Excited to meet Skull and Hati, lad. I mean, I've heard all your stories. It's gonna be weird meeting them in person. Legend meeting reality. At the very least, it shouldn't fail to entertain. Ah, but first... <laughs> we have one of these. Let's keep our eyes peeled. Uh oh. Let's try it. Boom. Boom. Be cool. Impressive! 
Amir. No! You once told us Ragnarok begins when Thor and Hati catch the sun and moon, right? I said it was foretold by prophecy. Which, after our time with the Norns, we've all had quite enough of. But Odin still believes. That's gotta be why the Einar stole the moon. He's still trying to avoid Ragnarok. No. Or he prepares for it. Fights a proxy war in this realm to distract his enemies. Yeah. Or that, I guess. Okay, we just need the last one. I feel like I'm playing... When I do these, I feel like I'm playing Where's Waldo? Oh, here you, here you are. Or... I Spy. Oh, that's the same one that I just did. That's the same one I did. I thought it was a different one. Whoops. Oh, it's right here. Did you guys ever read those, um, I Spy books? Is that what they were called? Those were so fun. Looks like we got to do some sigil work here. Yep. Two of five. Three to go. Okay, we were going this way to the camp. <gasps> Hello? They're sleeping. Well, there you have it. The legendary celestial wolves. Supremely entertaining, as promised. Remember their shrine? Mm. They didn't rejoin the sky until after the moon returned. And then chased an arrow across the sky. Right. Well, best we go find the moon and put it back where it belongs, eh? As if that's a perfectly normal thing to say. That's so cool. I mean, we've been... I remember the, um, what are their names again? <laughs> Scotty and Hadi or something. Those are always the most interesting, like, stories from the first game to me about them. Chasing the sun and the moon. I thought that was so cool. Now, like, they're, they're right here. Just sleeping. Just cutie patooties. So cool how you get to meet, like, these fabled heroes and gods and um you know incredible creatures in in this game in these games so we're gonna find the moon the Aenar yard played a part according to skull and hati shrine skull and hati the moon inside a box if memory serves but it didn't say where they took the box aye that's the rub of using prophecy as a map isn't it Bit sparse on the details. There's a war camp in the nearby village. A strong fortress to guard their bounty. We will try there first. Besides Hilda oh. and the elves, who else is part of Freya's army? Not much army, really. Although Beer Girl was a soldier, once walking the path by Traveler. I imagine he's oh. handy with that enormous broken sword of his. A traveler that doesn't want to kill us. That's nice. Oh. I still can't believe that boar. We met the boar and he's like, not a boar. <laughs> that's where we were, right? Yeah, that's where we were. <laughs> All 
Alright, easy does it. No need to rush things. I'm ready. In this place. Whatever she's doing, I don't like it. Shoot! They're very aggressive and violent. Whoa! That was very... I, I always forget how much damage I take from some of these just like... You think they're just normal enemies. And they kill you in like three hits. And like, you think you're fine, you're just... Chopping along, having a good time. And then suddenly you're dead and you don't- you don't even know what happened. Ow. They hit hard! Nicely done! Why you hit so hard, man? I'm not fucking around this time. Oh, shit. There. Damn, we really died to that last time. <laughs> but they do hit really hard. Did you see that? I didn't know they could do that. A new enemy. Stay. New plus. enemy. Yeah. Correct. Hmm. Fitting. Verdant. The Vanir acknowledge the abundance of their realm, but the need to write it down is redundant. The beauty of Vanaheim speaks for itself. There she is again. Where's she going? I can't believe no one's here. They hide. Vanir aren't all hardened warriors like our dear Freya. Those who survive the warfare find it easier to hide in the jungle and use nature as their shield. I hear a birdie. <coughs> Kratos acknowledging something is beautiful, Sagat. I feel like we are seeing more of... I don't know how to describe it, but Kratos is definitely different. Feels different in this game. Than the previous one either he was too um swept up in everything to really think 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 about things like that or we're just seeing uh more of his thoughts from the journal and through his conversations with characters that he's actually a very deep or like he has like deep uh, thoughts. I don't really know how to describe it. <laughs> Where is the bird, though? That's a cool trick. Dude, it sounds like we're right on top of it. Maybe if we go down here, we'll be able to see it. This wall, when I bring it down, we strike. Yep. Well, I don't hear it anymore, nor do I see it. Uh. Empty. 
they all go? I feel like they're gonna appear. Wait, there's the moon. Uh, box? Down there. That's gotta be it. <clears throat> this is definitely an ambush. Yes. Great. I I need to uh, remember that I changed that runic attack. You're covered in Shit, I'm stuck. Let's switch shit up here. Behind you, incoming. There'll be a lot of them. Oh, what the hell? I'm gonna pick up my HP. Do you mind? Ah, son of a bitch. What do you think you're doing way out here? Shit! No! Son of a bitch! One more to go. I hate to use that here. No, that's. I was trying to do this. Ah! Just hoping that puts a dent in resurrection stone for the time being. I don't think Asgard's running out of soldiers anytime soon. Okay, um... Where do you want me to go, game? Right here. Ready to put the moon back where it belongs? Okay, yeah. That is a weird thing to say. Come on! My thoughts exactly, Kratos. A double ambush? Okay. Didn't see that coming. She's gone again. Hurry, we gotta get across. Well, hold on, because I'm literally about to die. Oh, there's a fucking bird again. Oh, there it is. Ah, ah, ah. What about from over here? Ah, 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 ah. Got you, you son of a bitch. I got you. There! He's going up the 
Oh, I did that prematurely. Careful, brother. You're covered in black I'm about to die. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. She's still up there. Another ambush? Really? That changed the charm. They are not smart. I am just that. You know, what we're doing right now? All of this? It's almost exactly how we saw it play out back in Skull and Hati Shrine. The wolves are back in Vanaheim. We're rescuing the moon. Yes. I remember the prophecy. So, doesn't it make you worried? If everything we're doing now happened in the Yonar Shrine? Remember our agreement. Prophecy will not dictate our actions. Yeah. Our allies need help. That is our focus now. Um... Am I going the wrong way? Brother, we've taken a wrong turn. Our thief's gone skyward. <laughs> I see that. A wyvern. Okay. Well, that's something, isn't it? Okay. really poorly. I'm trying to take her out so I can deal with the angry oh, chicken. What is that? A wyvern, nasty beast. Careful, wives. Watch out! Watch out! If you let this thing out of your sight, then it's gonna dive at you. Right side! I don't think I've heard this song before. Maybe we could take the chicken out. Yeah, I noticed. I'm sorry, chicken. This is not the time to die. I miss. No. 
Yes. Woo. Woo. I should use this. Oh well. That was a tough fight. We're just two enemies. It's cold. Is this? It's from Elon. Timed almost to grab this while I freed Garm. Ah, I was there, but I, I didn't know. And now you fight to undo the damage. Your guilt is misplaced. Yeah. No, you, you're right. We can return to the den through here. They will pursue. Keep your guard up. We barely got any experience. Ooh, I could do something with this. We could give... Let's get protection with it. I haven't used protection yet on anything. And let's get this. Increase the blast radius of blazing explosion. Father, how are you so sure we even have a choice about what we're doing? Doubt is a weakness we cannot afford. Who said anything about doubt? So far, we've done everything the giant said we would. We make our own choices. Nothing forces us. Oh boy. Careful, brother. You're covered in bifrost. Yeah, I'm always covered in fucking bifrost. That's one way to do it. That's one way to do it. Bonk, 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 bonk. <laughs> that was very entertaining. But what if by doing all this? What if we're walking straight into Ragnarok? Isn't there any way to avoid fate? Your fate? What if we can't stop you from... Would you turn your back on... Wolves. On this realm. Remember our agreement. Up we go. Oh, I mean through. Through we go. That does make some good points, though. As long as Atreus lives, so be it. I don't think Atreus is okay with that, though. nothing like inside their shrine. If 
I do this? Fate only binds you if you let it do what is necessary. Not because it is written. Elsa! Wow, that is so cool. Good choice, lad. They have a gift for us. A way to call them anytime we need them. Oh? Looks like they want us to use it at one of the altars. Huh. Perhaps Freya will know. So in essence, they just gave us the keys of dusk till dawn. Not bad for a day's work. We should head back to Hildespini and tell them about all this. Yeah? Yes. Back to the camp. Well, it's night time. Look out! Again. Oh no, you do. Okay, yes, you do. So dead. Maybe not. That wasn't the same one from earlier, was it? No. They come back fast, but not that fast. In Asgard, what else did you see of Odin's army? Hold on. What is through here? I didn't miss something, did I? Well, all these Anher Yar we've been fighting. They've already died in battle once. We kill them here, and they'll just wake back up in Valhalla. They never truly die. Should it come to war, we do well to have our own endless army of dead soldiers. You mean Helheim's army, like the prophecy said. It will not come to that. Uh, I guess we've been this way. Never mind. To a great start. Oh, 
Oh. Did we kill one? How the hell did we manage that? I'm always late on that. brutal Kratos you should teach him more Greek words heavy runic attack oh hell yeah finally Hell we can yeah. get across from up here. Hell yeah. About damn time. I haven't put too many points into so, this spear yet, though. To heal this Fini, then what? We came here to help Freya. We will not leave without rescuing her brother and the light elf. Okay, but Odin's not going to stop searching for masterpieces. That is his concern, not ours. Sure, but if that mask offers all the answers... Then will surely exact the price. Be wary of shortcuts to knowledge. Yeah. Good point. Still, I feel like Odin would be very... very fearsome with whatever that knowledge would be. But yeah, I think um, I think Kratos teaching Atreus more of the of his like native language. The great bonding opportunity for them. Ow. Do all the plants you want to kill us? Yes. Only the ones. Which is like all of them. 